How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with just another little quick video. Uh, we're working on the fuller today and uh, we got some metal up here and I have this nice little handy tool. This is a temp gauge. This tells you how hot that piece of metal is before you touch it. It's actually pretty handy to have in the shop for forge making and stuff. Uh, for me anyhow. That way I know what the temperature of that thing is before I go touching it. I'll show you how it works. Now, if you guys watched the video where I built the fuller, you probably seen me talking about this little tool. Uh, really handy little tool. It has a little flashlight on it, which we don't need. But if you're in a dark spot, that actually comes in pretty handy. But it has a little laser pointer on it. You can see it on my finger. What it does is it tells me the temperature on my finger. 74, 75 degrees. From 65 to 74. So, back and forth on it. And then if we put it on this piece of metal right here that's at about um, 80 degrees uh, 80 and then as we go down it's 111 right there 107 100 130 140 100, that's 200 200 and 49 degrees so this is a handy little tool and I know that I can't touch that but if I put it on the other one over here I put it on there and it says about 60 70 72 74 82 it's about 90 or so degrees it's a lot hotter up here than it is back here so I know that I can touch this back half it's not too hot that I can't touch but this little guy comes in handy for that because it tells you the temperature. Now, if you happen to have <clears throat> a bearing or something, you might think it's going bad in like one of your motors or something like that. This little guy is pretty nice because it'll tell you the temperature of your bearing. Um, like, you know, you can test it on one bearing. It might run 80 degrees. And if you test it on another bearing and it's running 120 or 200, it's, it's definitely too hot. So this little guy comes in handy for that. Uh, you can see the little, that's what it is right there. It's just a little temp gauge. Nice little handy tool. Take it over to the forge. A lot of you guys ask me what the temperature of this valve was on the top of my forge. How hot did it get? Okay, I just... Um, tempered my fuller and I had a knife in here and it ran both burners for a good while and as you've seen I touched it well I checked it as soon as I turned the burner off and it was running right around 80 some degrees I'm going to check it again just to see what it is it's running about 86 or 96 degrees so it's actually heated up since I turned the forge off so I can still touch it, not too bad, but it hasn't, I haven't seen it really get much more than 100 degrees. So uh, to let you know what that temperature is, it's around 100 degrees. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, right now it's running, it's, let me get you over here a little closer so you can see. Turn some light on here. Okay, I'll turn it on the side. I don't know if you could see that. Let me get a little closer here. Okay, I'm going to point it right up on that thing. Yeah, wrong thing. You can see there's the temperature of it. 83, 82. So that's how hot that thing's getting. And it probably matters how far you bring it over to. Now, the closer you get to these burners, see, it's going to go up. It's at 104, 106, and it just keeps going up as we go down. It's actually getting cooler as we go down. This piece here is a lot hotter. It's 125 degrees. But the uh, valve is running, I'm going to say around 100 degrees. You've seen there's... 116 but I was going in the hole there so I'll go right in that hole 90 so that gives you an idea about how hot that valve is now I don't think I'd put any valve with any uh, 
nylon bushings in it. I, I really wouldn't. This is a solid brass uh, a valve. I think that's what I would use. <clears throat> so let's go over the forge a little bit. Now, through the outside of the forge, I, I know a lot of people ask how hot the outside of it got. I'll run this little thing on it. About 227 degrees, 231, 232. 232 is the highest I got on there. That's directly on the side. Now we'll go down on the top. Surprisingly, it's cooler. It's 224, 222, 225 on the top. But that's probably because we're forcing all the air down, all the heat down on this thing. But I'm sure as this thing shut off, it's going to heat up hotter on the outside. Now the inside, it's been shut off for just a little bit. Let's get a shot at the inside and see how hot it is in there. I'm showing about 400 degrees inside. It's much hotter. I put this brick back inside there because I'm going to be using this piece of metal here. I'm just trying to hold what heat I have in there in there. But as you can see, this little tool is actually pretty handy. Well, this is a very handy little tool to have in the garage uh, to see how hot something might get. Like I said, bearings, you're always, uh, like I'm running the knife uh, uh, grinders and stuff like that. If I think one of them bearings, you know, if you tighten them pulleys too tight, then bearings are going to get hot. And you can test them with this thing just to see if they're getting too hot on you. Then you could back them off a little bit. Or if you want to touch a piece of metal and you're not for sure whether you want to touch that piece of metal or not, you can always check it with one of these just to make sure that that metal is not too hot for you to touch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down. Click the little bell down there for the alerts. Hey, till next time.